Okay, this is it. We are answering the one question that all new photographers want to know the answer to. Should I be using Lightroom or Photoshop? Now, let me start this off by giving you a very quick and short answer to the question so that those of you that can't be bothered watching a 10 minute educational video on YouTube can go on with their day before I then give the rest of you an in-depth look into the different features and use cases of both programs. Use Lightroom if you want to manage and edit a large amount of photos with a small to medium amount of editing. Use Photoshop if you want to edit a small amount of photos with a large amount of editing per picture. Or if you want to put it into more figurative language, Lightroom stays true to photography while Photoshop lets you create the image in your head. So there you have it. If this already answered your question, then thank you for watching and I'm glad I could help out. For all of you that still feel pretty clueless, let's take a deep dive into Lightroom and Photoshop. First things first, Lightroom and Photoshop are both digital photography editing softwares that do have a lot of functional crossover. However, they were designed to meet different needs that all have their relevancy in the photo editing space. In the beginning, Lightroom was basically a software that let you use basic Photoshop features in a more convenient way. However, over the years, Lightroom got so sophisticated with all its updates and new features that now we actually have two different Lightrooms, where Lightroom now is a more consumer-friendly version of Lightroom. Lightroom Classic that lets you use basic Lightroom Classic features in a very convenient consumer friendly way. I am also going to make a video about the differences between Lightroom and Lightroom Classic, but for this video we are going to focus on the differences between Photoshop and Lightroom Classic. Now one statement that as far as I know still holds true even after years of adding new features into Lightroom is when it comes to photo editing. Photoshop can do everything that Lightroom can do, but not vice versa. Photoshop is way more sophisticated when it comes to all its possibilities. Photoshop even has a bunch of use cases for other creative fields like digital artwork or graphic design for example. But for the sake of this video, we are going to ignore these. One of the biggest differences between the two is that Lightroom also has a lot to offer when it comes to managing and culling your photos, which Photoshop is not really suited for because there's no such thing like a library or anything that lets you quickly view a lot of photos and rate them, label them, put them into collections and all that good stuff. Now let's get into really defining the use cases for Lightroom and Photoshop and when to actually use which. You can think of Lightroom as your go-to guy for picture editing. He's most likely going to offer everything you need unless you want something really, really special. A lot of times Lightroom is going to be a one-stop shop. Lightroom is specifically built to efficiently handle a professional photographer's workflow all the way from importing, over editing to exporting. Like I said earlier, one of Lightroom's key features is photo management. Lightroom is basically the Usain Bolt of handling large amounts of photos so that you can get more work done quicker. You can efficiently organize all your photos or singular shoots in a catalog, where you can then use features like rating or color labeling to identify your best shots and work with albums and collections to keep everything neatly organized. Lightroom even has keywording and search options that come in very handy if you're trying to find that one photo that you took a while ago. When it comes to photo editing, Lightroom can basically do anything us mere models could ever need. You have different panels that cover almost every aspect of photo editing one can imagine, ranging from basic controls over things like exposure, contrast and color tweaking, over slightly more advanced things like masking, which if I may point this out has become way more of a thing in Lightroom over the last couple of years all the way to basic retouching features like healing and clone stamping. 
Now the reason that using Lightroom is so convenient when it comes to editing large amounts of photos is because of Lightroom's capabilities to copy edits from one photo to another. You can always take an edited photo and sync it with other photos from the same setting for example to edit hundreds of photos literally in seconds. You can also save your edits as so-called presets that you then can apply to every photo you wish. So if you were, for example, editing an image and you like the edit particularly well, you could then save that edit as a preset and use it on all of your next photos that you're editing. Presets can also be exported and shared among people so that your best friend can also use that look you like so much. You might also want to go and buy some presets of your favorite photographers so you can learn about what editing tools they use inside of Lightroom to achieve their look. Where Lightroom quickly reaches its limits though is when it comes to retouching. Now when I say retouching, I mean everything that actually changes the pixels in your photo. And that is where Photoshop comes into play. Photoshop should be your choice when it comes to pixel peeping. When that one image just has to be perfect. We are not talking about just making what's already there look great. We are talking about making it look the best it can through severely enhancing and maybe even manipulating the image. So like I already said in the beginning, Lightroom stays true to the actual photography while Photoshop lets you create that image, the, the vision that you have in your head. Now for a lot of people, their workflow actually starts in Lightroom where they would make basic adjustments before they then venture into Photoshop to make more sophisticated edits. As I said before, Photoshop can do everything that Lightroom can do, but when it comes to basic photo editing, it's just not as convenient. So starting your workflow inside of Lightroom getting your photo to a base that you like and then switching over to Photoshop for further edits might be the quickest workflow and the most convenient one for a lot of people's editing style. What really gets people into using Photoshop in the first place are editing tools aimed at altering the look and content of your photo to a much larger degree than you could in Lightroom. Think stuff like very fine retouching of human skin, sky replacements or as a matter of fact changing anything you want in your image. You can remove distracting objects or even merge two or more photos together to create an entirely new image. And as of late, Photoshop incorporates more and more AI features that on one hand make things like removing objects even more convenient and on the other hand offer a whole new scope of what's possible with image editing. Now, as I said earlier, there's a ginormous amount of other creative fields that use Photoshop for a bunch of stuff. This is not that relevant for our comparison in this video, but you still might wanna keep it in mind because no one knows where your creative journey might lead you. Another thing that sets Photoshop apart from Lightroom is layers. Now, this is not as big of a difference as it used to be roughly two years ago, because back then there was no use of layers within Lightroom whatsoever. So this was one of the biggest differences between the two. Lightroom now has most of Photoshop's layer capabilities when it comes to masking. However, there is a lot of other stuff that can be done with layers, like adding stuff from other photos to your images, blending modes. Layers just open up a whole new universe of possibilities when it comes to editing that I just won't be able to do justice in this video. So just keep in mind that using layers in Photoshop will provide you with a whole new lot of possibilities when it comes to editing that Lightroom just doesn't offer. So what's our final verdict here? Ultimately, the choice between Lightroom and Photoshop comes down to knowing which software is best for your needs. If you're looking for a software that lets you manage and organize all the photos that you take and edit them in a way that stays true to the original photo, which probably is going to be the case for most people, then Lightroom is going to be just the thing for you. If you're looking to make more sophisticated, pixel-perfect edits, or even venture into the broad space of image manipulation, then Photoshop is going to be the place to be. 
Knowing the differences between Lightroom and Photoshop will help you in picking the best editing software for your needs. And in many cases, the answer to the question, which one to use, is probably going to be both. Good thing that Adobe created the two to work seamlessly together. You can start editing a photo in Lightroom and then hit Command E or Control E to send the image off to Photoshop where you can then build upon the base that you created in Lightroom. The information in this video should be helping you to understand the differences between Lightroom and Photoshop and therefore should be helping you in making the decision which one is right for you or if you should be using both. If you're having both tools at hand, I can only encourage you to experiment with the endless amount of possibilities. Have fun with it and ultimately design a workflow that helps you to create the images you want to create. I hope this video was helpful. If so, I do appreciate a thumbs up or if you subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.